Thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe and like. Now back to the news. Senator Tim Scott is no longer a bachelor. Scott, 58, married interior designer Mindy Nose, 47, during an intimate ceremony at their hometown Chapel Seacoast Church in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina on Saturday. Tonight, we promise to cherish and nourish each other, and our marriage for the rest of our lives Scott said on X alongside photos of the ceremony. Mindy, you've made me the happiest man alive. I love you. Seacoast founder Pastor Greg Sert, who counsels Scott during his GOP presidential bid, officiated the wedding, according to the Post and Courier. Scott's older brother Ben served as his best man, while Nose's best friend, Joni Blair, whom she met in college, was her maid of honor. Nose, a Charleston-based design and renovation consultant and mom of three kids, met Scott in 2022 through a mutual friend at the church. They hit it off while using an app to study the Bible together, the Washington Post reported, as Scott described his bride as a lovely Christian girl. The couple made their first public appearance at the third GOP presidential primary debate last November, following speculation about the South Carolina senator's love life. Before the appearance, Scott said he wouldn't drag Nose onto the campaign trail unless I had the intention of marrying her. Scott, a lifelong bachelor, asked Nose to marry him on South Carolina's Kiowa Island in January, announcing their engagement through a social media post. She said yes Scott, we did on January 21st alongside photos of the couple on the beach on Kiowa Island. Mindy, thank you for making me the luckiest man in the world. Guests inside the chapel included former Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy and Senate Minority Whip John Thune of South Dakota. South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham, Senator James Langford of Oklahoma, Senator John Barrasso of Pennsylvania, former U.S. Representative Mark Walker of North Carolina, former Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam, and former South Carolina Representative Trey Gowdy were also in attendance, the Post and Courier reported. The two-term Republican senator called his wedding a blessing. Part of the blessing for me was not getting married before now Scott told the outlet, adding that it took him a while to learn some hard truths about love, or as he put it, right girl, wrong time is a mess. Wrong girl, right time is chaos. Like everybody else, I think we pretty selfishly want what we want. I think marriage helps you understand that maybe it's not the only mission on the planet to get what you want, but it is to help others enjoy the journey of life, as well to be an ambassador of hope he said. Earlier this year, Scott was seen as one of the favorites to be selected as former President Donald Trump's running mate, after the senator suspended his bid for the Republican nomination.